In this video, we shall be discussing question number 18 and 19 from exercise 4. First, let us delete question number 18. So, there are two questions over, over there and both of them are similar. So, let us tackle the first one, number 1. So, the vertices of a triangle. So, basically, if you read the question, understand that the triangle, three vertices are given 7, comma, minus 3, x, comma, 8 and 4, comma, y and the centroid is 2 comma minus 1. So, we have already discussed what is centroid in a previous video. 2 comma minus 1 is the centroid. So, you have to find the value of x and y. Okay. So, what do we know? We know that the centroid, how do you calculate centroid? Centroid of a triangle x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 and y coordinate is y1 plus y2 plus y3 by isn't it? So, now in this question, centroid is already given. Centroid is 2 comma minus 1. Uh, so, x1 is a 7. So, 7 plus x plus 4 by 3 and uh, minus 3 plus 8 plus y by 3. So, that will give you 2 comma minus 1 is equal to 11 plus x by 3 and 5 plus y by 3. Okay. So, I will make the x coordinates equal. So, 11 plus x by 3 equal to 2. This should give us 11 plus x equal to 6 or x equal to minus 5. Is not it? Similarly, we have a 5 plus y by 3 equal to minus 1. From here, you can obviously calculate and you will get y equal to minus 8. So, my x equal to minus 5 and y is equal to minus 8 are the required values of x and y. Very simple question. Number 2, you can try on your own. 1 and 2 are similar. Now, let us go to question number 19. Now, in question number 19, again 3 questions are given, all are similar. So, if you solve one, rest are okay. So, what is happening in question number 1? The three vertices of a parallelogram are given. So, you can see the parallelogram is there. A is minus 1 comma 0, B is 0 comma 3, C is 1 comma 3. What you have to do? You have to find the coordinate of D. So, let us assume that the coordinate of D is suppose x comma y. Okay. Now, for the solution part, what I have to do? I have to join the diagonal AC and diagonal BD and let us say their common point is O. Now, applying the property of a parallelogram, the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. That means O is the midpoint of A, B, and C, D, isn't it? So, what I'm going to write here: O is the midpoint of A, C, and B, D, isn't it? So, if I take A, C, and O is the midpoint. So, if I if I apply the midpoint formula, minus one plus one by two, comma. 0 plus 3 by 2, isn't it? Now, if I take BD, this is x plus 0 by 2, comma, y plus 3 by 2, midpoint formula, I have discussed in previous video. So, this will give us 0, comma, 3 by 2, equal to x by 2, comma, y plus 3 by 2. Okay. So, this is what we have now. So, equating x axis, so z, x coordinate 0 is equal to x by 2, which will give you x equal to 0, isn't it? And uh, 3 by 2 is equal to y plus 3 by 2, so 2 and 2 cancelled. I have y plus 3 equal to 3. From here, y is also 0. Therefore, the coordinates of d, coordinate of d, is what d was x comma y so my x value is 0 y value is 0 so 0 comma 0 okay so part 1 i have discussed number 2 and number 3 you can try on your own all are similar type of questions in the next video we shall be discussing question number 20 and 21